Incline problems. One day, Peter Sam was doing his usual work at the incline. When he heard something. Points! What's that big creaking sound? Then, the incline snapped! Oh no! Ah! Not again! Scarloe! Scarloe! But Scarloe didn't hear him. Meanwhile, Madge was taking Duke to the steamworks to be mended. Ooh, that was rough, man, at the Blue Mountain Quarry. I suppose so. That was. Oh my god. Well. Merrick nearly got nearly got you. Yes, he did. Wait, what? What's going on here? Help, please. What happened to you, Peter Sam? Well, Grand Puff, I was caught in. The incline's rope snapped, and they bashed into me again. <laughs> Well, that's not funny anymore. Oh, God. I must tell Mr. Percival. You, you're too late with that. And Mr. Percival arrived at the scene. For God's sake, what happened here, Peter Sam? It wasn't my fault. The incline's rope was too old and snapped. Oh, I see. Well, you must go to the steamworks at once, and I'll tell the other engines at the shed to repair this mess. And Mr. Percival Ward drove away. At the sheds, the engines were still resting. When... <laughs> what's, what's going on there, Duncan? Well, I heard someone horning the car. It's me! Uh, oh, sir, what are you doing here? Well, I was resting, you know. Shut up, Duncan. There's Mr. Percival want to tell something to us. Oh, uh, whatever, humbug. That's not the time, Duncan, to grumpy and to be grumpy and all that. You need to help Peter Sam immediately. He had an accident. For twice a week? Oh God! No, it was it was the other week. It's Sunday, you know. And now I need I need you, Duncan, to put to get to the breakdown crane and get him get to the incline and get Peter Sam to the steamworks at once. Oh God! Why is it me? Because I asked you. The others will clear up the mess and take the trucks to the to the smelters. So the engine started up. Oh god, again. Twice a week, Peter Sam. He will never change though. It wasn't twice a week, you know. You are just making that up, Duncan. Well, I suppose so that I need to take all that shit to the dump. Oh god, Peter Sam. You're such a insert handle. You're just a lazy one. And all the engines were got to work. The engines arrived at the scene. For goodness me, Peter Sam, what happened here to you? Well, I got an accident. 
Huh, deja vu, isn't it? Yes, I suppose it is. Huh, serves you right. You're such a careless engine in general. Oh, shut up, Duncan. I wasn't the one who feared of something scary story from Rusty, you know. Oh, you shut up. This is the second time you did this in your life. How unfortunate. Lucky, huh? Oh, God. Soon, everyone was ready to go. At the steamworks. <laughs> Kevin! Sorry, my friend. Kevin is a little careless. Oh, boss, that was rude! But it's the truth, Kevin. You always do this. <sighs> now, can you go in front of the truck? Well, I suppose... Said Stepney. Okay, then. Ugh. Ugh. Now, Kevin, I suppose you need to take Stepney's new parts now. But they're already there. Oh, uh, sorry, uh, paint, I mean. Oh, boss. Thank you, boss. I'll go there. Ah. <clears throat> oh, typical Kevin. Then Rusty arrived. Oh, hi, Victor. Oh, hi, Rusty, my friend. What do you brought to me? I brought Peter, Sam, and this truck. They are bashed into each other. Well, I suppose we can help that. But first, we need to complete Stepney. Then, Madge arrived too with... Duke. <gasps> Madge? Hello, Victor. I brought Duke, as you wanted. Ah, yes. Well, we'll have something to do here. And the and I heard that the incline was snapped. Yeah, that's why I'm. Yeah, that's why I'm here, Victor. I suppose you are. Well, we have to find the solution to the problem. Yes. The new rope into the incline finally arrived at the wharf. All over it. I'll wait for you, Colin. There you go. All set up. Thank you. <laughs> Now we just need to get the new wood. But I think Mighty Mac will do that for me. Boko was waiting for a red signal to change at Crovens Gate Station. Uh, all this thing happens twice a week. Twice in his life. The same accident. Ugh. Hey, Duncan. Why is that so rude, yeah? Or grumpy. Yes, that's the word for it. Huh. Boko, don't even tell me. That that green asshole Peter Sam. Uh, uh, um, I'm green too. Well, and that dark green asshole turned, committed the same accident in his life. Twice. But accidents happen. We can't control them, even if they are similar or even the same as the old ones we had. Well, yes, that's true. But still, that's not an excuse to him to ruin my Sunday while I was resting, but I need to go to work because of his bullshit. Oh, God. You need to change your attitude. I need to speak to another engine before this signal changes who will tell me properly what happened. Well, the incline rope snapped. That's what happened. But that was only an accident. Oh, God. The signal changed and Boko started up. The engines work hard to get the incline done. They made sure everything was running smoothly. Two days later, Mr. Percival went to see the new incline. He could see it's working well now. I am really proud of you all. You did, you got the incline right in like four days, which is record time to fix something. Yes! Yeah. Woohoo! We like it. 
Yes, look at it. This for this. Look. Oh, yes. We like that. Vamos a This was a hard work. Yeah. Well, Peter Sam shouted to you, but you never shelled him. Well, I had work to do, and I I never heard it. So basically, I didn't mean to do that. I would always help if I would see the engine is in trouble. Yes, we know that's kind of lovely. Yay!